I guess going to right. my point though is, yeah. So, how, but how many gun crimes are there at CU? Are there at UNC? Are there at uh, Colorado College? Are there at School of Mines? Are there? Do we having a a run of 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 gun of shootings at these places? Or? Not a run. Yeah, they're, they're very low incident of gun violence on any of the campuses. But what is interesting is that there is more gun violence on CU and UNC, which both have prohibited guns, than there is at CSU, which has allowed them. Well, and let's let's go to the issue at hand, which was after 10 years of no incidents, and, and we can argue whether it's been good or bad. The board of governors there says we want this gun ban. The student government votes overwhelmingly say no, keep it the way it is, and they don't care. Uh, why, why would it be a good thing for CSU to, to say, all right, it's been working for 10 years, we haven't had a problem, but you people who are legal well, to carry yeah. across the street, you, you, can't, you can't walk across the street be on the campus, you can't drive through the campus, you can't walk past the campus, even though on the other side of the street, you're perfectly legal to carry your gun with your right. legal Let, permit. I mean, let's, go, let's go to where the real argument is. I mean, the real argument is not about the statistics as to whether, you know, concealed or not concealed, whether that makes you safer or not. That's not really where the argument. The argument really is about whether one should have the right to carry a gun or whether one shouldn't have the right to carry that, That's what the real argument is. We, we argue these statistics, but, you know, that we can make some in our favor, some in the other favor. There have been lots of studies, and they differ. It's not, a, it's, it's not about the statistics. It's about the culture. And, and I would argue I've learned a lot. I mean, I, I know I have. I've learned a lot since living here about the culture that I didn't understand when I was a city kid back in the East about what, about what guns mean and how people use them and, and how they fit into lives. I'm curious into about lives. that. I mean, I don't what, what, what did know you, what did you learn? where I grew up. There aren't any hunters in. Oh yes, know. there were. For the mul <laughs> the ultimate prize, but, man. I'm saying there aren't. You know, there aren't a lot of guys who go out hunting. Right. It's it's just not done that much. The the again the the um, I, when I lived in Baltimore for 12 years, we had a tremendously high murder rate. There were over 300 murders a year in a city that's about the same size as as Denver. And um, so when you have that many murders a year, most of them gun murders, you have to think that the guns are an issue. Now, uh, you know, we can differ about how to stop those gun murders and which laws might do that best, but definitely killing with a gun is an issue. So I say... Yeah. I would take a step here yeah. for interrupting for a minute, yeah. but uh, I grew up on the south side of Chicago, so I know wherever you speak. Right. But, you know, for those people that are going to be victimized by these gangbangers and stuff, shouldn't they have the opportunity to defend themselves? And I think that that's what the whole CCW right. thing is about. No, I, I understand that. And I say, I've, I've come to understand much better, but I also, I also say that there are lots of incidental killings with, uh, with, with guns in, uh, in, sure. in, in gang neighborhoods. And introducing more guns into that, I'm just not sure, I'm not confident that that makes it safer. And again, we go back to the whole idea of culture. For me, and a lot of yeah. people who think like me, having fewer guns there would be safer. The, uh, if so, so I'm just taking, I'm taking this, I'm moving this toward campus. So okay. Okay. if you have, so There yeah. won't be fewer guns, because those people, the people are getting permits already have guns. So, you know, people don't get a permit and then think, hey, I'm going to run out and get a gun. You know, they've got a gun and then they say, hey, I think I'd like to get a permit. But also, so that I, really isn't well, let's just say, well, let's guns. just say, what the, for instance, you know, in California, there's this big thing now about um, open carry and going into Starbucks with open carry, right? This is a, this is a big, become a big issue in California. Well, in Colorado, that's the law, too. No, I know it's yeah. the law, but it's become a big right. issue there where, where gun clubs are, gun groups are, are meeting in Starbucks with open carry, and it's done to be provocative. I mean, right. that's, that's the reason it's done. It makes a lot of people uncomfortable, and that's also the reason why it's done. So, you know, this is a, you know, this is about, well, let's go into a place where probably the majority of people don't like guns around, and will come in with guns in a very, in a very open way yeah. in order to say, hey, we don't really care what you think. We, we, the law is that we can have guns, and we're going to have them and bring them to your house or your coffee shop, even though you don't like them. 
So that's what's going on. Well, I mean, that happens in a free society. No, no, no. I'm saying it's legal. I know uptight yeah. social conservatives, when they see a gay couple come into Starbucks, they go, I am uncomfortable. This is, or, this is bad. I'm not saying it shouldn't be right. legal. I, I'm, not, you, 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 I'm arguing here about culture. So what I'm saying, I'm trying to get this to right. the college campus. Okay. So I'm saying when you come Liberals to Liberals always the, take the long route but, but, anywhere but, but, they're going. Yes, absolutely yeah. true. So I'm saying when you come to the college campus, you have come to a culture that is basically not in the pro-gun. If you, if, you, if you were to, I'm just going to guess yeah. this, if you were to ask the faculty at CSU, if you were to poll the faculty, I'm guessing the faculty would be overwhelmingly against concealed carry on campus. Of course they are. They're overwhelmingly okay. liberal. Okay. So, well, yeah, that, that's yeah. right. So I'm saying this is the culture at, in which we're talking about, though. Right. And this but is the, the culture students... that, but wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Wait hey, listen, a second. I'll tell you what, we, we've only got, you know, a three-hour show here, so if you can just... You know. But you're worried about, or you're worried basically about students coming into classrooms and shooting them up and saying that the teacher should have guns to make sure this doesn't happen. What I'm saying is that, that in that culture, on that campus, as on most campuses, that's not how they want to do it. All right, point taken, that's but... That's the point I'm making. Okay. Most people on that campus are students, and the students yeah. have spoken through their representative government overwhelmingly, not unanimously, but overwhelmingly, that they like the system well, that they have now. Students don't run the campus, do they? No. I hope, we hope you don't think that. I no, know they you don't, don't think run that. the campus. I know you don't think but that. They are the culture. You don't think culture. students should make the rules. And in the same way, we have. Uh, transgendered clubs and lesbian clubs and Islamic clubs. You can have and, gun clubs on campus. And, and you also to other groups. On campus. You know, if, if we're going to ha have diversity, if, if we s support diversity, we should do support concealed carry. All right, bring, bring it over here. <laughs> That's okay. a weird argument. No, it's a <laughs> great <laughs> argument. That's a yeah, weird my, argument. My biggest, <laughs> issue, my biggest issue with the whole thing is that they're really subverting the, not only the will of the students, but the will of the legislature, because it, it never was the legislative intent when they passed this to prohibit guns on campus. In fact, they took the added step to make sure that Denver and some of the other municipalities couldn't pass more restrictive legislation it uh, never occurring to anybody that a university might do that. Uh, specifically, the, the, the law says that if you have a concealed weapons permit, you can carry on campus. That's what the statute says. I would, I'm sorry, go ahead. But the, what, the, what CU has done and what uh, uh, CSU has now done is that there's a little caveat in the thing that enabled the universities to establish rules and policies to regulate welfare and safety of the students and the property. And, you know, their argument is is that that clause about the safety and welfare policy supersedes a state statute that says if you have a permit, you can carry on campus. Right. Who, who's, who should have the controlling hand here, the legislature or well, the know, courts, the seven courts people are, that were, were appointed yeah. by the governor? Well, the court ruled in favor of CU, right? They, they and that, did, and so that's far. A, so, and I remember very well so this far. argument back when the um, concealed weapon was being, was being considered. And the, the on-campus argument was very much an argument and was basically left as an open question. As, and the, when, when that vote was taken in the legislature, it was basically left as, we'll sort of see. We're not really very worried about what hap happens on college campuses when we pass let, this let me, law. Let me make a question about, not, about your culture. Yeah. Now, when you say there's a culture there that's uncomfortable, like the guys, yeah. you know, the guys who are sipping their lattes at Starbucks don't want to yeah. see a guy packing heat. Yeah. Well, we're not talking about Wellesley College here. We're talking about an Aggie school for the most part, a great right. veterinarian school, uh, CSU. Uh, we, could argue, we could argue that... I'm going to say CSU is a great college and not, uh, not, uh, not, not knock them down some CU, some but elitist CU graduate like you. Oh, God, yeah, because I, <laughs> I am the picture of CU pride, let me tell you. That's, that's why the Alumni Association puts pictures of me in their paper. Um, but you know, who makes you or them the arbiter of what the culture is? You know, it seems to me the culture is if well, this the is college legal. Says, the college says this is our culture. Right. You have the right to either come here or not come here. That's how we yeah, work out here in the market, in the no, market economy, market. right? It's not a market economy because it, it we're paying for it. They get we don't most of their funding. Much for it. No, they oh, don't get most. Oh, they, they most certainly they do. Don't. When, when you take a look at capital expenditures as well. Well, a different argument. 